suspects. There have been several developments over the past 24 hours. We now know the victim was a student and that her body was found near the alumni center. Austin police have now taken over the investigation from UT campus police. Our Samantha Patashkin is live in Austin monitoring all of these new developments for us. Samantha. Well, Sarah, Austin police and UT police both keeping very quiet so far about this investigation. You can see behind me they have blocked off the bridge that runs over the creek where that student's body was found. We're told it's a popular area here on campus that is now a mysterious crime scene. We cried all day yesterday. It was just, we're a family and we love each other. Jalen Blond and her fellow dance and theater majors are worried sick about one of their own. She's been missing since Sunday and we all know about it. We've all been trying to post it on Facebook and trying to get the word out. They're hoping and praying their missing friend isn't the woman whose body was found in a creek Tuesday behind the UT Alumni Center. I was actually there uh, Sunday when my friend went missing and I was down at that creek and I was honestly alone so it's kind of scary to think that could have been me or just any one of us. For more than 24 hours now investigators from several agencies have been combing the creek searching for clues that could lead them to the killer. Honestly last night I couldn't even sleep because I was like I'm this is my campus. I'm here every day. The university now warning students to walk in groups and be aware of their surroundings. Like I found out a friend this morning, even it was really dark, and she walked by herself. And I was like, why did you do that? Everyone on edge as the mystery deepens surrounding this creek in the heart of the campus. Whoever it is, it's just still a tragedy, even if it's not her. And tonight, the university will be providing extra shuttles for any dance or theater students who have evening rehearsals. That's because the theater building is actually right across from the creek where that body was found. Again, university officials just urging all of the students and staff members here not to go anywhere alone. Reporting live from UT Austin, Samantha Batashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News.